Imagine the best vacuum people have ever made on Earth. It is around one trillion times, that's a one with 12 zeros, one trillion times less than the pressure in our Earth's atmosphere. If we express it in how many atoms we find in a given volume, that's roughly 10 million particles per cubic centimeter. You think that's empty? Well, large parts of outer space are even more empty than that. Let's ask an astronomer about the staggering emptiness of space. Incredible. If space is so empty, will particles ever encounter each other? Yes, but you have to be patient. In Earth's atmosphere, particles collide within time scale of about milliseconds, while in space, every particle encounters each other of about 100,000 of years. But space is a pretty wide environment, and the age of the universe is around 14 billion of years. So, indeed, particles can encounter, and sometimes even react. And when this happens, the field of astronomy and the one of chemistry encounter, and we have astrochemistry. So how should we imagine such a reaction? Suppose a molecule of hydrogen and an oxygen atom met in space. Would it be like an explosion, such as we could make on the Earth? <laughs> well, the universe is less spectacular, but not less fascinating. Normally, such processes happen through ion channels. That means uh, that the charged particle encounter neutral one, and the direction happens. Um, in general, are cations. That means uh, atoms or molecules that have get rid of an electron. The electron is uh, expelled from this species because uh, of a high energy process, like an interaction with uh, an ultraviolet photon. So when, uh, for example, an ultraviolet photon interacts with an atom of a molecule, the electron is expelled, and uh, it flips a lot in the space before encountering stick with another particle. So how would we make water? Water is a pretty complex molecule and it requires many steps. That means many processes of collision and reactions. So it will take a while to form such molecule. But uh, the fan fantastic thing is that we have detected a lot of water in space. One of the environments in which we have found a lot big quantities of water is around young stellar objects, in particular in their envelope. In such regions, we have also found uh, other complex molecules like carbon dioxide and cyanidic acid. And uh, we would like to understand exactly what's going on and which kind of reaction produces uh, these molecules. And uh, one of the most exciting things, of course, is to understand the formation of very complex organic molecules. That's probably the, just the step before the formation of life.